Stone had asked to um, make a presentation or uh, some notes to the fiscal court. Actually, I just wanted to address the court. Uh, um, I may, I, we may get into what we, you know, um, any kind of a, a vote or anything like that. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm up here to talk about two issues. And I've talked briefly in the last meeting, but this is an uh, issue about the death at the jail. And then also the issue about, and I, I, for lack of a better word, the torture of, of a child at the daycare center. So I want to talk about both of those. But what I want to start with first is the jail. And, and my question to you is, are you aware of the conditions at the jail, both as magistrates, magistrates or as the <coughs> county judge of Yes. Uh, um, and so I, I'm almost at a loss of words to try to think of what to say here. I had something prepared, but my visit to the jail yesterday completely changed everything. Uh, I didn't know if I was in an episode of Game of Thrones in a dungeon or, or an episode of Andy Griffith. And, uh, but the things that I saw in that jail led me to believe one of two things. Either there is a lack of budgeting and funds going to that jail or mismanagement of the funds that are there. But in any case, the thing that I went there for was to check the safety. And, and I'll always come back to safety at the jail. And what I saw there, to me, led me to believe that the jail is, at this point, unsafe. Does anybody disagree with me on that? Why, why do you speak those facts? Okay, so I have, I have several issues, and I'll, I'll go to them. And like I said, they're addressed by safety. One is the ratio of, you want me to go slowly? Yeah, I, did you have I, I just like to comment, uh, mm -hmm. the jail gets inspected regularly by the State Department of Corrections. And um, any any uh, things that need to be corrected, they they, they note those, and we correct, we keep up with that, and, and do make those corrections. So the state has approved that facility by the Department of Corrections. The state on a regular, had, on a regular I, I, basis. I understand. Okay. So uh, let let me let me address this one, and then I'll get back to you. Uh, the state may uh, 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 inspect it, but what I'm asking specifically is, have you laid eyes on it? Because I got to tell you. Black mold, which goes to your question. Uh, the ratio of, of guards to, to inmates, 30, like 30 to one or something like that. Um, the actual, and there were several uh, video cameras that were being monitored. The person monitoring those video cameras had several different other jobs that they had to do. And so my question about how drugs are getting into the jail was answered yesterday. My only question right now is, who is causing that? Or more importantly, what are you going to do about it? And I, and I have to say this. If you haven't physically been in that jail, if you have just depended on uh, uh, a, an inspection from the state or, or something from the jailer or, or, you know, or any of those things, then I think that it's a travesty and a dereliction of the trust of the public, of the, of the community, that you haven't done so. And so what I'm saying to you now and what we would like to see is an ad hoc committee that goes in there and looks at that jail from a local level, okay? You can say all you want about state inspections and things like that, but I gotta tell you, those who have run afoul of the law deserve to be in jail. I'm not an advocate for that. But what I am saying though is this, that charge, that, that uh, uh, um, sentence does not include slow death from black, black mold. And I sat there and I watched a, 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 a uh, inmate, an inmate now, uh, show us how he could open up a, uh, 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 um, a, uh, yeah, a maximum security cell with a paper, with a plastic fork or spoon. And I'm telling you right now, if you are not providing the funds to take care of that jail, it's your fault. If he, and I'm sorry to point, but if he is back there and he's asking for money and you're giving him the money and he's mismanaging, it's his fault. But what I'm telling you right now from a safety standpoint, and I'm not going to get off this horse, from a safety standpoint, that jail is unsafe. And what I, what I would like to do before I move on to the next subject I've got is to have someone to challenge that statement that I just made. 
actually it's two challenges I want you to make. I want you to make a challenge that you feel like the judge is safe, the, the, the jail is safe, and I want you to, to, to respond to have you actually physically been down the jail and put, and put eyes on it. I have. Two things. I have. I have. And, and, I have. I have. I have. Mm -hmm. and, and as far as the condition of the jail, uh, the jail has some age on it. Uh, since Buck's taken over office, the fiscal court has allocated over $400,000 more to the jail in the last two and a half years. And that's new, uh, a couple of additional personnel, uh, some uh, renovations to the air system, um, roof, just, air just, roof. Just, just a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, up, upgrades, and and that's nothing to sneeze at. Okay, so we're and, talking. You talk, pass, it's over. Uh, uh, if it passes the state inspection, I, I, I get, I get. That, that, that's that's our that's, goal. That's not enough. Uh, 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 Judge Watts, that's not okay. enough. And uh, let me tell you why. No, 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 let me say why. It's not enough because a person, a human being, has died in that jail. And I believe, and then this is this is what I'm going to put out there. I believe the lack of funding is making that uh, is 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 setting up the conditions where somebody will die again. All right. And so the challenge I put out there is. You know, call me out on it. Tell me out what I'm not seeing, because I was there yesterday, and I don't know when you were there, uh, or any of you guys. But I can't, I can't imagine, well, yeah, I got you. But I can't imagine that you have been there and seen that black mold and are now challenging what I'm saying. You should be saying the same thing I'm saying, if you saw what I saw, or, or, or maybe you didn't see it. I, I don't know. What, what, I, I'll, I'll, go ahead. With all due respect, first of all, I, I just want to, uh, express my condolences for the family. Uh, I grew up with Bill, and he a, was a good friend of mine in school, and I'm, nobody should need to be burying their children. Um, second, to address whether I've been to the jail, I've been to the jail a couple of times. Uh, well, not long after Buck took over, he made some physical improvements in the jail, and he wanted to show us what he'd done. I, had, I went in there, uh, it looked clean, and I mean, there wasn't a lot of noise in there. There wasn't a lot, you know, to me, I mean, as a person that doesn't know much about jail, it looked fine to me. And every time that the jail has expressed concerns or needed money, I don't think anybody on this court has balked against anything they've needed. You know, they, they needed some more personnel. We addressed that. It's, you know, when you run on a tight budget like we do, uh, a lot of times we compare with other size jails in the com surrounding communities. To, to base, you know, our data that we got, right? Uh, just to try to be good stewards of, of taxpayer money and, and to manage the jail now that we've had this uh, unfortunate death. Uh, you know, it's, I understand what you're saying. I feel like me as a court member and, and, and these guys too have tried to do what we can in our power. And, you know, I, I, we don't manage that jail. We're not a constitutional officer above the jail. So, I mean, from our perspective, from my perspective, that's, that's, that's kind of how I'm looking at it, honestly. So you see why 14 weeks ago, when I sent you that letter to you, I requested that they'll have a meeting, not only with the jailer, but with you as, as well. And, and I did that for this specific reason, because I didn't want to see finger pinning. I pointed, I wanted to be in a room where like what you said, you you know, we've given all the money and the jailer has mismanaged it and he's sitting right there and saying, no, well, here's why, you know, those sort of things. So what I'm doing is piecemeal here, but I, 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 and I, I appreciate what you're saying and, and I gotta tell you, it means more to me that the human part of it comes into this equation Absolutely. Than, than anything we're talking about here. Absolutely. But I will say this, funds or no funds, someone has died. Funds or no funds, how do you but die? you have the... How huh? do you die? Exactly, it, exactly. That, there's no, a state so, police right, investigation on that. Still, day, go, right still ongoing, yes. still ongoing. But what I'm telling you, and, and if you've been there in the last... Well, if you've been there since the, the uh, uh, LeBrick died, if you've just been there since then, okay, then you would have the same feeling I'm having. So the question I turn around to you is, is the jail secure that hit, that shouldn't have happened? Well, don't ask me a question like that, because I, I, you know, that that's the same thing with me. So, but, but, but again, but what I'm saying to you is the conditions that I saw there yesterday uh, uh, were such.
that there's no way that you could see drugs being fished from one cell to another unless you were luckily watching the camera, okay? I saw that. And I saw that there, it looked like that there were three, only three guards that were controlling that cell block. And so even if you did, and, I, and I'm gonna say this, and Buck's back there, but I'm gonna say it, I don't believe that they're doing one hour rounds. I don't believe it. Now, whether it's true or not, I don't believe it. But what I'm saying to you is, and, and this is the important thing, if you feel comfortable that you've done all you can do and there's nothing else that can be done, I, I can't say anymore. But what I'm telling you is, of the things that I saw, of the, of the, of the uh, uh, several things that I saw there, several things, there is no way that that's not going to happen again. Someone's going to die there. You know why? Because the guards are not going to be able to watch to see. It, it, and you're going, what you're going to do is fall back on, hey, you just can't keep drugs out of the jails. What we're saying as the NAACP is this. You may not be able to keep drugs out of jail, but you can reduce the amount of drugs there. All you have to do, all you have to do to increase, well, what you can't do is, is welcome the, drug, the drugs in. You can do things that makes it difficult, or at least makes the, uh, the inmates feel that it's difficult for them to get drugs in there. But if you've thrown your hands up, if you've not been able to fund, and I, you know, because I've already talked to, to, to Buck, but if, you, if you're not willing to invest the funds that allows them to put in place uh, um, uh, things that will mitigate that, to lower that number down, if you've already said, if you've already thrown your hands up and said, I can't do anymore, if you've done that already, both from a physical and from a management standpoint, if you've already done that, then it's already lost. It's already lost. Now I will say this, of what he showed me, with no backup, but what he showed me, there has been an increase of what they're finding in, uh, uh, of finding of drugs in there. But I gotta tell you, you know, just that one thing alone, just that one thing of not being able to see every video camera because you can't be there all the time, just that one thing alone could reduce the amount of drugs there. And see, this is not a thing of the quantity of drugs. This is the opportunity that someone gets drugs that kills them. So it doesn't have to be that if you have a pal this high that's coming in, that someone would die. You only need that one hit that, will, that could possibly kill somebody. And so that's why I'm saying to you, at the very least, at the very least, when someone dies again, you need to be able to back up the fact that you've done all you can. I mean, and I'm not even talking about the CARES money you got or whatever, but what I am saying is, this is a situation that needs to be addressed. You're in charge, you get to do that, you get to address it or not. You, you really get to address question. it or not. You've been uh, the jailer for two and a half years, I believe. Uh, and you may not have the number, but could you get us the number of people you have charged with contraband coming into the jail? Yesterday. He gave it to me. 78, or I've got it written right here. So, so uh, six from Dorcas up to. Well, I've got it right here. Right. 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 Her last four years, I think she, she was charged. 72. Yeah. 72. 72. 72 charged. charged with contraband. And, and he gave me the dates. I think the dates were 2016 to 2018, if I'm wrong, correct me. 2016 to 2018, six. 2018 to 2021, 72. So there's an increase there. Yeah. Okay. There's an increase there. I knew that. Right. So what you asked? I'm not sure number. why you asked. I didn't know the number. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so, uh, and so that's where we are on on that particular issue. Uh, um, um, Do we know how the uh, Mr. Maddox uh, got the drugs yet, or that's still under investigation? Still we know. We just can't talk. Yes, about I understand. It. Yeah, so, so. Just a, just a point of order there. There is a limitation built into the rules for five minutes, whatever. I mean, yeah. if you all want to override them, fine, but that's. No, we, we, we have your point. You made a point. Okay. And, um, and I'm going to examine. When, if we get that state police investigation completed, um, that will help a lot. All right, one last thought. This is a system problem. You, you, you're not going to wave a, a watch in front of my eyes and tell me I'm sleepy and try to make this a, a unique one-off uh, 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 problem. This is a system problem. And if you don't address it as a system problem, you won't solve it as a system problem. However that is, or however you, you, choose, you choose to, to examine that, however it is. Okay, so, end of story. End of, end of story. So. Just, just one last thing I'm just going to say. 
if you're if you're not uh, like we're not there managing that on a day to day. But well, let me just ask this: so our population hadn't changed much since I've been of the jail of the jail. What what actually population? is down? Probably yeah. is it, so the population. So I mean, if you're looking at it from a management perspective, how did this happen? Okay, you got the same amount of inmates for pretty much average for I don't know how many years since before I was in here. You've got two more personnel added. So what's changed? Is this the first person that's passed away in the jail or something like this? Because no. I don't even know. Well, I'll let in, you say. In, I don't, oh, I, I take, I, inside I'm the talking. jail, right. uh, I don't recall anybody outside the jail. They have been inmates and had health issues and died in other facilities. Right. So, so they really, had, but they had health issues before they came into jail. From fiscal court's perspective, we're looking at this as a mo monetary issue, right? I mean, we're oh, not yeah, there managing it, correct? So we supply two more personnel. Any kind of maintenance that needs to be involved, we've always supplied money for that. Uh, so I don't know what's changed. Technology, uh, technology, te technology. Right? technology. And if there needs to be investments, sure, there needs to be improvements made. And like you said, the, the most unfortunate part is the loss of life, which I'm, I'm Man, I, I, I get that. that. And so, yeah, I, I mean, you're, you're, you're right. But at the same time, uh, you know, I feel like fiscal court is trying to do what is res our responsibility. Uh, we've, we've supplied a lot, a lot of, a lot of stuff to the jail. So, so and, and I apologize for going over, but so to answer your question on that, to answer your question on that, um, here's your gauge, here's your gauge on it. The people that do know, you don't manage it every day, but the people that do know and, and do manage it are back there. Correct. So when they make their budget proposal, you can determine how well that you're doing the best you can by the difference on what they present and what you approve. And I don't know if it, I don't know there's if there's a balance to life though. No, I, there is a balance to life, but there's also a cost for death. And so what I'm saying to you is this, um, um, and, and, and look, stand behind what you say. I mean, you can only do what you do, right? You can only do what you can do. Right, right. So that's the balance there. But what I'm saying to you is you have to understand that that decision on what you approve and what you, that, that difference in there, that what you approve and don't approve could make the difference between life and death. Not because you made a bad decision, but because the people that are experts are telling you what they need, but because of the life balance, you've got to balance now do I pay this or do I ignore them that they don't know what they're doing? And I understand that there is a, a, a life or death situation. I'm, I'm, I will say this, go down there. Go down there within the next week and just look at it. I'm telling you, when I walked out of that cell, I had to be careful there was a slime on the cell that I had to wait to dry off my feet before I could keep from slipping in the hallway. And so it was just, and so when you say you fix the air conditioning, uh, that's not true. I mean, it, it's really, I mean, it, it didn't take. All right, let me say that. It didn't take because that's there, the first I've heard of that. Well, so, so again, 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 and there? you know, yes, yes, and, and, and in places, but again, and so here's the other thing don't look at it as we're doing this for the inmates. You've got employees down there, and I'm telling you, if I saw black mold in the ceiling, I know it was in the ventilation system. It doesn't happen that way. You don't paint over black mold to get it away. So all the places that painted, I don't know what was under there. But I will tell you this: uh, uh, even if the the th there's no change in the air in in that it's, you know there's no several changes you know uh, uh, from the air conditioning system. It's just not happening. It is too it's too uh, uh, humid in there for that to be happening. Now I understand showers and stuff like that. But what I'm saying to you is. Go down there. Don't take the word of a state inspector. Go down there. You're magistrates. That's what you do. That's what you do. Yeah, you, know, you can smile if you want, Dean, but well, that's what you do. The state pass it, passed it as, Listen, a, look, as look, a safe look. jail. You can hide by, behind. By, 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 by the code. You can hide behind that if you want. I'm not hiding. Yeah, of course you are. Because if you, hide. when was the last time you I were down? When was the last time you were down there, Dean? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, listen, listen, few, listen, few listen. Months listen. Ago. So, so let me say this. I'm not upset. I'm just passionate about this. And I cannot persuade you of what's going on. You can, and I can't even t uh, uh, persuade you to go down there. You can turn your, your eyes against this if you want to, but the bottom line is, there is a fact that there's black mold down there right now. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait. You I'm, don't I'm, need black mold there, I agree Wait, wait, right. There, there's a fact, there, right, there, there's a, well, what, how, how are you gonna get it off the table? That's what I don't know. 
Did you address it to the jailer? Because what did the jailer say about it? Ask the jailer. And, and you know what? Let, let me say this. If you had just uh, accepted my request to be in the meeting, you'd already know what the jailer said. That's that's the failing dean that I think I that you made. I responded. No, no, no. We're, talk, we're not talking about that. We're, okay. we're not talking about what we're talking about is and, and read the letter if you want to. But in there, I specifically said I would like to set up a meeting when both you and the jailer are, are, are schedules will meet so that such that we can all meet in the same room. Now, I mean, you, you can order that if you want to. And so if you answer my letter about something else, that doesn't that doesn't excuse that part of it. OK. I mean, yes, sir. Buck, has anybody ever went to the doctor over a black lung issue? Mm, I don't know if they have. Well, I'm has calling. any inmate ever been committed to the hospital or asked for a nurse's care? Or? We, give the, we give the cleaning supplies to clean every day. I feel a little congested myself. I was just there for three hours. So, I mean, I, I don't know what your point is. I'm not I'm sure what your point is. Black mode, you know, it's around Barstown. I mean, you know, it's everywhere. I mean, I'm sure in my house I've got some. I own some rental property, and I know I've had some in there where I've had leaks and things, and you just got to address it. Uh, I plan to address the black mold. Yeah. And we, we, and I, we, we, there's a constant battle down here, Jeff, on any, any facility that you've got that has that many inmates in one dormitory, and, and you've, got, uh, you've got people showering and so forth. You've got the body heat. It is hard to control. But I will address it with, the, with, what, the, with Jim. Jim, I'll go down there so we can look at it again. Thanks, Eric. I, I appreciate uh, that. But what, what about the what what about the uh, the video cameras and, and and that part of it? What do we do the video cameras, Judge? About five years ago. What about what about the doors that are not secure? But that, that's I want to address that with the jailer. And so here's the thing, and and, and I want to make sure that it's not that that you guys understand. I understand that because I've been on both sides of this. I've actually submitted budgets and I've actually received budgets. And I will tell you right now that if you don't have the funds for it, you can always be the guy, because I have been that guy that says, well, I don't care. I gave you what you gave you. I expect you to get it done. If that's your attitude, somebody's going to die is what I'm trying, the point I'm trying to get. And if you have the funds, you have them. If you don't, you don't. But if you're moving funds around and, and you have, you got to, it, it's got to be a sort of a triage. You've got to look at all the things that's going on in the county and decide who needs the funds the most. And if you've given up and it seems like, and I don't know, but if it's, listen. You $400,000 in two and a half years extra to the jail and that's not caring or trying? What, what is the price for a life? Well, let me, and, and, and I mean, before you say that, I, I, because I want to say this. This conversation is getting ready to end. Yeah, I, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. And, and I'm, I'm, that's my but strategy to work it through. I got your message. Okay. The court got your message. Yeah, I, 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 you, I hope so. I, I really yeah. hope so because I, I don't feel that. That's okay. okay, so, uh, and I tried to end it a few minutes ago, and I just had another question asked me. So my next, next issue is addressed to uh, the county attorney and this what I can only describe as the torture of, of, a, of a child at the daycare center. I want to know why that, that if I can, and I've said this to you before, but I don't know why if I swap my kid in the Walmart parking lot, I can be accused of child abuse, but you can watch two videos and say there's not a case there. And I invited you when we were here last time to come to my office. I'll be happy to speak with you and whoever else we want to talk to. We've had meetings upon meetings upon meetings. As I explained before, Children spray one another with water for entertainment, for fun. The difference between what makes torture or crime and a game is intent. Was there intent to harm? That particular case has been investigated probably more than some of the felonies that I've seen, and they have not found any evidence to intend to hurt that child. Well, first of all, I want you to stop saying there was water in there. I, I don't, I, I don't believe in this COVID situation where at the worst place to have uh, germs, they're not spraying some disinfectant on the surfaces. So I, I, I would like to, for you to stop saying that it was water in there. That's the first thing. And I don't mean to be disrespectful. No, no, don't. I, I would rather this, this communication back and forth because I, I receive it better. And I don't want it to be in this public forum. Well, I do. I mean, I do. Because I, I can't do I can't. Do it. You don't know what you're talking about. Right, right, right. We have a report that says it was water. It was tap water. And I, then so, I have talked to the chemist. 
So we did a right. spectronomical so, so, analysis. So, 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 right. So, so let me say this. So, so you're going to say that that can't be right. As well. No, no, no. Where you know, no, no. I know I'm not. Actually, okay, it was. So we got, I, we well, now we know well the let, so okay. We've got we, no intent. Wait, 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 wait. So here, so, so, so here's, so here's the reason why, and I can see why you wouldn't win the case. I asked you that question to get you to this point. It's premeditated. If there was water in there, then somebody decided they were going to put water in there to spray and control the kids on that issue. This one particular kid. So if it was not disinfected and it was water, it's almost even worse to me because now I'm saying this is a means of controlling the kids that is acceptable in that uh, facility. And so it's even worse than somebody casually just because they were spraying the, the surface down. Now all of a sudden they see a kid doing something, they spray them with the disinfectant. Water, actually taking the time to take a spray bottle that you probably had disinfectant in to put water in it is worse. It's worse to me. And so what, what I'm saying to you is, I think that that point that you just made there is what makes it a system problem and a, a, a administrative problem in that facility. But it's even worse when you talk about that same kid is put on a merry-go-round and spun around and around and around until they fall on their face while they laugh at it. And that same kid is happening. So now what we've got is what? We've got two things that you're saying is not torture, but it's happened to the same kid twice. And that video is out there. And the saddest part, well, no, that's not even the saddest part. The, the, the nightmare of all working mothers is to have to take their child to a daycare center, to a day center, and hope they don't mistreat their child. And so now what has happened? This mother has went through the worst nightmare for a working mother. And so when you put, and, and twice, twice. And so if, when you say I can't do anything about it, what you're actually saying is, what you're actually saying is, it's going on right there now and they know it and we know it that nothing can be done about it. And so I'm saying to you, there is a legal recourse. You don't have the will to take, to take that. Which recourse. is what? What is the legal hey, problem? my job is as a citizen is to bring it to your attention. You That's your that. job to fix it. But I, what, I'm, what I'm saying is inaction is not a fix for me. Jeff, inaction Paul, is Paul, not a fix. Well, we're going to move on. We've got your point. Please. This is a fiscal court meeting. Fiscal court meeting. You're addressing the issues as a, as a community that, in a bigger form than needs to be. Okay? And, and Matthew's responded to you. And he's, he's already said he will respond to you if you want to meet with him. And I'll meet whenever. You want to meet today? I'll meet today. We'll go the police. We'll sit down with everybody. Go hey, hey, look, look, I came. I, I came. I did what I was said what I was going to do. Yes, you, That's you all did. I can and do. So. And uh, I, I, I want to say this last thing. It is not it has not missed me that the word on the street is all of you guys are going to be uh, uh, um, uh, primary in the next election. This is your opportunity to get out ahead of that. This is your opportunity to get that support as you're getting primary. And so, I, you know, take it wherever way you want it. Not you, not you. Well, I'm just saying. But I'm not running to keep my not, seat. Right, right, right. I'm not, not, I, said, not, right I said, thing. I said, I said. And if I'm running to just get reelected, I don't think you want me. I think you want somebody in my seat who does the right thing and does the right thing every day. And some people may not like it, and some people will. But I'm not here trying to get elected and elected and elected. That's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. I'm here to do what I'm supposed to do, and that's what I'm doing. Amen. So. And, and that, that's the way it should be, but except for one thing. We want action, not inaction. And what we've talked about here is inaction. You're going to do something, but the reality is you haven't done it yet. We'll move on. Regular business.